I'm standing here in the rainforest at Fairchild by one of the most unusual plants we grow here at Fairchild. And it's a very ancient lineage of plants. And you would walk right past this and not notice that anything is unusual. It looks like all the other flowering trees and shrubs we have around here. But this is actually Needham Nemon. It's a gymnosperm. So its relatives are conifers and cycads. Um, but it has a lot of attributes of flowering plants, including leaves that don't look like conifers or, or, or cycads, but leaves that look like leaves of a flowering plant. Uh, and they also have some, uh, some structures in their vasculature. So their water conducting cells are very much like more advanced flowering plants than other gymnosperms. Uh, they also have a feature where we think uh, insects are sometimes responsible for moving pollen from one plant to another. And that, of course, is a hallmark of flowering plants. Uh, but this is found in uh, a lot of parts of the tropics. This genus uh, Needham is found in Asia, Africa, and the American tropics. Uh, but this particular species it grows throughout Southeast Asia. And its seeds are eaten. Um, they're a, a great source of food, and they're actually processed to make chips that are a, a, a very popular snack food in Indonesia. Um, and the young leaves can also be eaten as a vegetable. Now, the closest relatives of this plant are some of the weirdest plants in the world. Uh, so there's a plant called Welwitchia that's only found in Namibia. And then there's another group of plants called Ephedra uh, that are also very weird. Uh, and these are things that are somehow between the gymnosperms and the flowering plants. Um, we don't know exactly how those relationships took, took shape, uh, but it's certainly a curiosity and something to check out here in our rainforest.